Now results from our exclusive Eyewitness News poll, U.S. House District 1. Our data shows Congressman David Cicilline would lose to a Republican opponent by more than 10 points if the election were held today. The poll also reveals widespread unhappiness among voters from the first-term Democrat. Now everyone is wondering how much news of Providence's disastrous finances have hurt the former mayor. Eyewitness News reporter Tim White is here now with the exclusive results. We polled 300 registered voters in the 1st Congressional District with a margin of error of 5.7%. Our numbers show right now it doesn't matter much who takes on Cicilline in 2012. He has a lot of work to do to win back voters. Go to Washington and fight hard every single day. Congressman David Cicilline has 17 months until the 2012 election, but Eyewitness News political analyst and pollster Joe Fleming says he's going to need every minute to change voters' minds. If I'm David Cicilline, I would be concerned about my re-election. In a matchup against his former challenger, Republican John Laughlin, Cicilline gets 35% of the vote. Laughlin... 47 percent, with 17 percent of those polled undecided. Get rid of it's back. a similar story when Cicilline is pitted against former state police colonel and Republican Brendan Doherty. Cicilline gets 33 percent of the vote, Doherty 46 percent, 20 percent are undecided. Was this the anyone but Congressman Cicilline vote? Well, right now at this point, it looks like the voters of Rhode Island are upset with David Cicilline more than voting for Brendan Doherty and John Laughlin. Cicilline says he's not surprised. I, I don't think there's any question that um, this poll reflects uh, a response to the coverage that has occurred over the last uh, several months about the province budget. I don't think it reflects my work in Congress. For Doherty, who has never run for office, polls are unfamiliar territory. You know, this is a, the, fir the first inning, if you will, of a baseball game. It's, uh, it's nice to uh, uh, be up by a couple of runs, but uh, I, don't, I, don't, uh, I wouldn't stop there. We also asked voters how they felt about each candidate. The poll again reveals tough numbers for Cicilline. 33% have a positive feeling toward the congressman, but 57% have a negative feeling. 10% aren't sure. While Doherty and Laughlin appealed to voters more, both shared a common stat. Voters simply haven't formed an opinion yet. 46% of voters don't know how they feel about Laughlin. 52% don't know about Doherty. Fleming says the poll doesn't mean they don't know the Doherty name. People right now don't know where he stands on the issues. People don't know where he's on abortion, where he's on gay marriage, the social type issues. People don't know where he's in the budget deficit, Social Security, Medicare. Laughlin is out of state preparing for a trip to Iraq as a member of the Army Reserves. Spokesman Michael Napolitano says a primary matchup against Doherty will actually help define Laughlin again. It's always great if you don't, you don't have to go through a primary, but uh, you also can get your message out earlier. Now, Fleming says Cicilline lost major ground with older voters, but he tells me this is a voting block Cicilline can win back by reaching into the National Democratic Playbook, raising questions about the GOP's commitment to Medicare and Social Security, no matter where his opponents stand on those issues. Tim White, Eyewitness News. We have in-depth coverage of this Eyewitness News exclusive poll on our website, WDPRI.com. There, we have an extended interview with our political analyst, Joe Fleming, and another look at all the results. Plus, tonight at 11, more results. We ask registered voters who they blame for the city of Providence's financial crisis.